are married. Imagine. They have mittens. They have socks. socks. And then they have rom bags. And, and, and other clothes inside. And other clothes inside. I did not subscribe to the notion of Funika Toto. There is this thing that usually hits uh, beats yeah. over here. Yeah. And people call it... Uh, what do you call it in Kenya? Moi am Toto. Moi Moi am Toto. That thing there... Mm -hmm medically known as a fontanel is not supposed to bulge okay to like it's not supposed to bulge okay. or swell mm -hmm. their hands becoming pale yeah. you can see their feet it's becoming okay. pale the reason as to why that happens is they are not getting enough, enough. oxygen okay. okay i know africans <coughs> we have that thing of watch an ingoji let me see how tomorrow yeah how, how tomorrow will go hello guys Hello ladies, hello mothers, hello fathers. Welcome to another episode. And we have our guest, still she's a guest, and uh, Karibu. Thank you so much. At least I think right now I'm no longer a yeah, guest. No longer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I say, I'm going to Kijiko na jembe and Kwetu, where I come from, mwanamke hezi kuwa mgeni. Okay. Okay, ingia mahali. <laughs> Unafanya kazi. Unafanya kazi na weza ako. <laughs> Unaendelea. Yeah, but I'm so delighted once again yes. for the privilege to be here at Tender Beginning. Karibu. You are doing a great job. Asante sana. Yes. We are trying to make it a little bit easier. For the, for ladies, the ladies out there. Mostly for the first moms. Because mm. it can be so hectic. It is true. You Google everything. And you get nothing. <laughs> nothing. Yes. <laughs> In return. <laughs> yeah. 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 So today we are going to talk about. Um, you might be thinking your baby is crying. Um, he's all over. You don't know what's happening. So today we are going to talk about signs of a, a sick child or an infant. Mm. Yes. What What was your first experience? Or did you experience your baby getting sick? Yes. When he they was were having a cold. Mm. I think that's the most thing. That's the most thing that babies do have. Yeah. Uh, I think there's that instinct mm. a mother has. Mm -hmm. And also the fevers, they were like Spiking, higher. Yeah. And then you can see, you you know you you know, you, know you know this baby is, is not, not in okay. the mood. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think mostly it's instinct it's and instinct. fever. All right. Yes. So there are very many things that could tell us that our baby is sick. Okay. But usually the very first one that gets us um, very worried is high fevers. Yes. Of course, when the baby is born, uh, we are told to cover them up mm -hmm. because they do, the we do not want them the to cold. get exposed to the cold because their skin is too... That they don't have a lot of fat. Yeah. And, and that sometimes uh, becomes very hard for mothers to actually tell when the heat is actually too much for mm. their babies or, or okay. they are okay. Yeah. So you find like one child has been piled four blankets and this child is, is literally shiny. burning in there. <laughs> It's literally burning in there. Mm. And the, the mothers will tell you, no, unajua, uini mtoto. baridi. That's my mom. My and mom. then on top of the, the four blankets, they have a mavid. Imagine. They have mittens. They have socks. socks. And then they have rom, rom bags. bags. And, and then other clothes and inside. And other clothes inside. Yes. So you can imagine that kind of heat that is going on in there mm. now me when i was uh when i had my first uh my first born mm -hmm. i i was not a person who covers a child all mm. the time mm. i did not uh i did not subscribe to the notion of Funika Funika toto toto all the time because the baby would be sweating yeah, all the time. Every time so. And then you're, you're continuing to add. Imagine. I'm like, no, I'm not going to kill this baby. 
<laughs> I'm just going to kill this baby. So one of the things that would actually tell you that your baby is sick is fever. Mm -hmm. And if you're in the habit of actually continuing to keep on piling covering, this, covering. Yeah, yeah. it might become a very hard thing for you to determine okay. whether your baby is sick, sick or, or it is just else. the, the, the joto. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, we usually say anything that is above 38 Point five mm -hmm. degrees. That is fever for a child. Okay. Yeah, and sometimes um, if it is just because you've covered them a lot, mm. it could get there. Yeah. And then uh, when you expose them, it just goes, goes off. off. Yeah. yeah. It just yeah. goes off by itself. So sometimes it's actually fever that we have caused as mothers, yeah, yeah. and then other times it is fever that is it's, either yeah. due to they are they are having an infection or they are sick. Okay. So that is one thing that we look at. The other thing that we are able to see that our baby is sick is when they fail to breastfeed. Mm. Now, if you have a young child and they are breastfeeding and they fail to breastfeed, then that could be a sign that this child is actually sick. sick. Okay. Because you are trying, by all means, babies, there is no baby who wakes up and says, oh, I don't, I don't want, want, yeah. I don't want to eat. Sure, sure, sure. There is none. <laughs> So once you see that your baby has refused to breastfeed, please rush to the hospital so that they are able to check them out and find out what That's the problem true. could yeah. be. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing is they become weak and lethargic. Mm. They become floppy. Yeah. You know, mm. that is something that you also have to look out for. Mm. There is this thing that usually hits uh, beats yeah. over here yeah. and people call it... Uh, what do you call it in Kenya? Moy, I'm daughter. Moy, moy, I'm daughter. What do you call that in your language? A book, comments and tell us. <laughs> what is it called? Huh? Yeah. In my, in, in, in where I come from, they call it Takaompo in Luganda. Mm. And then in my language, they call it Tengoma. Okay. So you see that thing there, mm -hmm. medically known as a fontanelle, is not supposed to bulge. Okay like it's not supposed to bulge okay. or swell mm -hmm. so whenever we see a swollen a swollen fontanelle mm -hmm. or a sunken fontanelle mm. then that is a, a sign, sign that, that this baby, baby is, is sick, sick and okay. it is not sickness that should should it's delay just stay there yeah you shouldn't tell them me check and see mm -mm. how they will wake up tomorrow mm -mm. no that's like the emergency. moment you see that rush the hospital okay. because those are those you, when when usually we have that bulging of that fontanelle it tells us there is an infection that could involve the spinal cord of your baby okay. and the brain of your baby ah, so okay. that is something that we don't usually joke around okay, with okay. if you see a bulged fontanelle oh, especially bulged hmm. that one is bad sunken usually sometimes it's because of dehydration they are not feeding so hmm. well so you'll find that it can okay, sink, okay, okay. which is also not a good thing mm. because dehydration actually Very kills. Big, true, true. Yeah. Then the other thing that you can be able to tell is diarrhea mm. in your baby. Mm. Diarrhea is one of the things that kills the most mm. for children below five years. Mm. So it is not something that you should wait at home that, oh, I'm going to... At least... Uh, yeah, the breastfeeding is good for a child who is diuretic because you want to replace the, the fluids, fields, yeah, the okay. fluids that okay. they are they are they are losing, but it is not something that you can actually self-medicate at home okay, or okay. say that I will stay here. Okay. So once you realize your baby is having diarrhea, take Rush. them to the hospital. Okay. Of course, you will say if it is a newborn, how will I know? Yes, that, that the, they the, are having the diarrhea. diarrhea. Yeah. yeah, the frequency in how many times they use their diapers or how many times you're changing the diapers mm. will be different from the normal. Yes. If you're changing your, your baby's diaper Hourly. seven yeah seven times in <laughs> two hours or hey, that's that's alarming. You get, be alarming. Yeah, so it should be very alarming to you. The color still of the of the stool. If mm. the color of the stool becomes green mm -hmm. and it is liquid and then you also have some mucus, mucus or blood in it. Okay. That that's is another sign that this baby is not actually well. Mm, yeah. They need to go and get treated. Okay. The other thing is, if this baby continues um, having 
breathlessness mm. of course when they are young they they tend, tend to, to breathe, breathe yes, very very fast, fast. Yeah. and then they will stop for some time and, and then, then start, pick up again yeah. but if it is something that is happening they're having like Frequently. chest raises like more than 60 chest raises mm. in a minute then that is something that you should go and they check your okay, baby okay. because this could mean they're having difficulty in breathing, breathing and this is not something that we want to joke around mm. with uh, sometimes this difficulty in breathing could actually make this baby to become discolorized. They can become blue. Hmm. You see their, their lips, lips becoming pale. Blue, pale. Uh, yeah. You can see their hands becoming pale. Yeah. You can see their feet Think becoming okay. pale. The reason as to why that happens is they are not getting enough, enough oxygen. Okay. 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 So that would, that would be another thing that you don't want to, to joke, stay at home yeah, and say i am going to monitor and until see. two more yeah i know africans <coughs> we have that thing of watch an ingoji let me see how tomorrow yeah how, how tomorrow will go yeah so those are things that you should not really have to debate about yeah. as a mother who is taking care of your child the other thing that uh, would show you that your baby is not feeling well is them col their color turning yellow mm -hmm. now this is something that um, there is a lot of myths around, around it. it yes yeah when you give birth to a baby don't put them in yellow clothes they will turn <laughs> yellow it is not something <laughs> like that <laughs> Mothers, <laughs> let's hey, break that joke. trend. <laughs> we joke, we joke, we joke. Uh -uh. Yeah. Jaundice is one of the things that is an indicator of a bigger issue going on with, your especially child. the liver of your child. Mm. So when, when of course, there is something called pathological jaundice, this is one thing, that I, physiological jaundice, this is jaundice that occurs after the third day of delivery up to that one week mm. so from we from day three, three. to day seven okay we expect jaundice to be there the discoloration to be there mm. for their skin to turn yellow yes their eyes to turn a little yes, yellow. yellow yes yeah because they are they are they, their blood is being broken down the excess blood is being broken okay. down okay. the cells that have been in their in their system are being broken down at that particular time but once it you realize that you have delivered your child today and they are already yellow. Uh, Please, do not leave that hospital. Yes, because this this could be meaning um, that you, the 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 liver is not is okay. not functioning well for this baby. Okay. And it is something that is treatable. The baby will be put into uh, machines, and they will get uh, some. Um, uh, for the, there is light therapy that they okay, are given, they're given there. and then the baby will become okay. okay. So that is something that you need to see. If it is something that is proceeding from day seven mm -hmm. onwards, mm -hmm. still That's go back to the, the hospital. hospital. Yeah. yeah, because if if it is going on, then that means there is something wrong with sure, this baby. Sure. So jaundice or discolor the yellow discoloration of this baby is something that you need to also to check look, yeah look, to check as a young mother or as a beginning mother the other thing is vomiting mm. if your baby is feeding breastfeeding and, and then, then they are vomiting, vomiting then that means there's they're something sick. that is wrong there could yeah. be it could be that they are having an obstruction Okay. Whatever okay. they are taking in is it's not going absorb. it is not getting okay. even inside their stomach so okay. they can end up you know, throwing, throwing it out. up. So you want them to go get checked and make sure everything is okay. fine. Yes. Um, then um, some uh, children will get fits. Fits is when mm. the convulsions. Yeah, that, yeah, convulsion, yeah. yeah. So now in most cases, um, usually children whose fevers have not been managed mm. Yeah. will end up getting that fit. That's yes. why we started with fever. Fever, yes. And we said anything that has fever in yes. it, please take the baby yeah. to the hospital. Once they get to this fitting uh, stage, it is very scary. Once One thing I want to tell you mothers, be calm. Because once you panic, <laughs> once you panic, you, you, will, you will do everything. Day. Yes, you do. It is very, very hard to be calm. My baby fitted when he was around... It was around one year and something, mm. and it was hard. It was not It easy. was hard for me to stay that calm. calm. Mm. Yeah. So I know, I know that it will be hard, but try as much as possible to be calm. To be calm. Yeah. Don't drop that baby when they are fitting, because it's scary. 
It is true, scary true, to true. see your baby feeding. Mm. You'll want to eh? drop, yeah, sure, drop sure, the baby. Sure. Put them somewhere safe, flat, where they can lie, so that they are able to release this uh, this this uh, feet off. And it once it wears off, then you can pick them up oh, so and it, go to it, the it hospital. It can wear off, yeah. Yes, it can okay, wear off. Okay. It does. It is not usually continuous. Okay. So it can happen for like uh, a minute mm -hmm. or some few seconds, and then it goes off, and then it reoccurs. So it depends. Okay. So once you see a fit, even if it is one in your baby. Please take this baby to the hospital. Okay. In most cases, it is those infections. Like for my son, it was an uh, uh, acute acute tonsillitis mm -hmm. that caused the fevers, and then it spiked the okay. convulsions. So you, you take this baby immediately to hospital, and if you reach there and they tell you this baby needs to be admitted, don't do not refuse. Because this fit will come back. <laughs> and when, they, when it comes back, you'll be frustrated. Yes. Even the people that you left in the hospital will be like, I, I told, told you. you. True. Yeah, so these are some of the things that we do not want uh, to take lightly. Okay. Once you see them, please go and seek medical attention. Yes. To watch a kuwa madaktari imbo. Yes. Self-medication is not good. Mm. Yeah, and, and that is something that we mothers want to do. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, alikuwa, jirani alikuwa na hii, alipatiwa hii, and we took it. Yeah. It's not good, by the way. <laughs> yeah, we should. You know, when uh, interestingly, when my when my son had a convulsion, I had, I don't know, it's Eno. Uh, eh? Yeah, so some mothers came with Eno. Mm. Tunamwekea kwa mdoma. This baby oh. has had a convulsion. Why? And, and they are this? trying to put something so in their be, mouth. This, be this choked, baby can be choked, choked and die, die you true. know. So th these are some things that can actually happen in mm. our community. Anything that, uh, any baby that has had a conversion, please avoid giving them something from the mouth. Oh, okay. Unampatia maji, siji, unampatia the, you know, oh. uh, Those things, please don't do them when the baby is having a conversion. Take the baby to the hospital. They'll be attended to. Yes. Hospital, mm. yeah. I know that was an educative uh, topic and I know most of us mothers we are going through this period and you may be confused on what to do when your baby is sick. Now you've had Pelekam to hospital, a pony, mm. and you have that happy life. That's us for today. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to share, subscribe and like. And also comment on our, on our, um, uh, on our what? Media, media social media social, yes. handles and Do tell us. They, <laughs> they can actually share their experience. Yes, and also share. <laughs> Give us topics that you you want us to 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 do, and uh, we might have different. Um, topics that you would want us to do. So you give us a comment, and then we will look for a way to <laughs> to bring such people to, to our, our our platform. So thank you very much for tuning in. We will see you on our next episode. Bye. Bye.